Okay guys, so I wanted to make another video here, uh, let everybody know what, how far I am here. Um, I've got the uh, center part of the, of, the, of the frame done. I've got the high density foam in there. That's actually, believe it or not, almost two full sheets of four foot by eight foot by one inch high density foam in this boat right now. I have got one more sheet of uh, high density foam that I'm gonna go ahead and put in here after I finish doing what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, the center structure is completely finished. I got all the slats across, cut. Um, got everything done. Um, I've got a little bit of, not really a problem, but what I want to do is, uh, you can see right here, it's really hard for me to see my viewfinder, but I think, you can see these two, two boards cut right here. Right, right close together. Those two slats are run all the way across. Well, that's four foot from where it's cut up here. Okay, so that I got one piece of plywood that's going to run to right there, right in the middle where those two pieces are cut or put together right there. And I did it that way on purpose because I wanted to, I wanted to have some uh, strength where the where the seams are at. Now, when Glastron put this boat together, they didn't really do that. They just had like four slats in here, and they just fiberglassed the fiberglassed the uh, seams together and called it good. And I don't really like that. I think that's what caused this boat to, to rot. I think that's what caused the floorboard of this boat to rot out. So what I've done is I put a, a piece of uh, one, uh, one inch by two inch uh, treated, treated uh, lumber in here. And where I'm only going to do it in three places. I'm going to do it where, where the plywood seams together with the other plywood. Um, I'm going to take this right here and I'm going to do that so that where this thing seams together, um, I'll have something to tie to, and that way, when someone steps on it, it won't uh, it won't you know loosen that seal or ca cause that seal to crack or break or anything. Also, I'm going to cut the rest of that plywood out of there on the bottom. Um, you know, after taking some time thinking about it and everything, it's like that shit is really need needs to go. So I'm going to cut it as close to the wall as I can get it. It's scary because. It is the wall of the boat, so you got to be really careful. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that out as far as I can, close to the wall as I can. Try to find out where the seam is at exactly. Maybe I can just cut the seam and then wiggle it back and forth and pop it loose. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to get, tr take as much of it out as I can. It just makes for a better uh, job, a cleaner job. And uh, you know, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing it right. You know, if I can give anybody a piece of advice on doing some a project like this, is take your time. I'm going on the third year of working on this boat. I've had it out twice. It runs great. I'm really happy with it. But you know, there was there's things that I didn't do to it that I didn't know I was going to have to do to it. If I had known that this thing was in this bad a shape as far as the floorboard goes, I probably would never have bought this boat. But uh, but I did, and it is what it is, and I am where I am. So. Uh, the boat runs great. Uh, it, 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 it floats great, you know, uh, so the hull is in really good shape. The fiberglass, as far as the, you know, the, the actual hull of the boat is in really good shape. It's not rotted anywhere or broken anywhere. It was one little crack where someone had ran into a dock up there in the front, but I fixed that already. So, so that's where I'm at right here. I just need to, I just need to cut that little piece of plywood out on both sides of the boat right there and then, uh, finish, finish making my, my, my custom made uh, deck support right here and lay the plywood back in here and then fiberglass it in and paint it man and uh, this boat will have completely been rebuilt I mean this boat will have been completely gone through uh, it's no longer a 1971 boat it's a, it's a 2018 boat because you know I've even I've even re fiberglassed the the fiberglass on the inside and the outside so but uh, so you can see where I couldn't get underneath the boat right there to do the fiberglass on it. see where I stopped it right there but when I cut that out I'll be able to go ahead and fiberglass that also and uh, and call it good so that's where I'm at guys it's uh grandma was slow but she was she was she was sure so that's where I'm at I want to be sure when I get this sink in the water my wife kicked my ass we get out there and sink so all right I just wanted to make this little video get everybody let everybody know what's going on not, not that anybody gives a damn but uh, some people do that are being, going to be coming down here uh, to go fishing they can see where I'm at with this thing but uh, so that's where we are man I'm uh, got this piece of board in here I'm gonna work on one side at a time and uh, 
get this thing custom fit so that when I lay that piece of plywood in there, it'll be flat and laying directly on that slat. And, uh, and then I won't have to worry about it ever coming loose again. So, uh, you know, this boat, this boat's going to be well worth $2,500. I told my wife the other day, I said, look, if anything happens to me, you sell this boat for less than $2,500, you're out of your fucking mind because there's much work and uh, I've got over three grand in it now. So, and the thing is, is I can prove everything I've done to it. You know, I mean, I, I've got a video of, of everything I've done to this boat. So, you know, they can look at it and say, okay, yeah, this boat's freaking new. All right, guys, that's all I got. Everybody have a great day. Peace and uh, we'll holler at you later.